Happy birthday to you. Sit. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear pistol. Happy birthday to you. You want this bone, don't you? You want it. You want it. You want it. Welcome to your general and love oracle tarot reading for October 2016. I'm just shuffling the Doreen Virtue butterfly cards that came out last May. Uh, I haven't used them yet, but I'm using them for everybody this month, and uh, I really love them. They're cool. So what are the messages for Pisces October? 2016. You know, Pisces, a message that's coming in here, it's interesting I said that, a message that's coming in here because it is regarding messages. So I'm feeling for October, uh, the month itself is geared around messages. So messages, what does that mean? Messages coming into you, messages you want to, uh, you know, get out to others, um, Maybe this has to do with uh, hearing from someone through email, text, or maybe you deliver the message that way, or you could have meetings, um, and uh, there's a message. Uh, it could be a message of importance, actually. So, you know, I feel that you need to just focus on your words, the power of word and the power of thought. And also the power of feelings. Um, I feel for a lot of you Pisces, you're empathic and feelings are important to you. Of course, you are a water sign. Uh, emotions are important to you too. So that's what I'm getting. You know, to really focus in on what message am I giving to uh, not just myself, but to uh, the people around me uh, at work, family relationships, uh, etc. Okay, so let me just pull an oracle card here. Forgiveness. Okay, well, you know what? We could also have messages of forgiveness. You know, you might receive messages uh, from loved ones or um, just people that you co-create with, like at work, that may... Um, you know, of, of forgiveness, you know, maybe there have been some conflicts, uh, perhaps in September or before that, and now it's come to uh, fruition in October where, you know, you may receive forgiveness, you may give re forgiveness, either way, uh, that's a beautiful card to have. Okay, let's see what the Tarot says here. Messages Spirit for Pisces. Let me just move these over here so you can see them better. see the messages here I'm getting um I feel like it has to do uh I feel like something has to do with the separation from someone um it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship although I'm feeling like it is uh but I also feel like some of you may be separated from family or friends or just feeling like you want to take a journey 
in October, like, um, how do I explain this journey? You know, where you're not alone. You're never alone. The universe is always with you. Spirit is always with you. But uh, I just feel like there are uh, moments here that you want to spend with just yourself. Uh, maybe you're feeling down about something that may have uh, ended or you may just be feeling, you know, where you just want to gather your forces. And there's nothing wrong with that. So I feel like um, that's okay for you to do this because I feel what it does, what it's going to happen here is re-energize you for October because I'm getting new opportunities coming in for you. Uh, one of them is regarding money. Uh, that has been on your mind lately. And um, also I want to bring in the fact about this forgiveness card is maybe in your... Uh, moments of silence or just spending time with yourself maybe what you want to do is just kind of go through um forgiveness uh which will help release the karma you have tied in with some people from your past um okay and so that will open up doors also too for new opportunities that's what i'm getting i'm also feeling that some of you piscians will be planning a family Perhaps there's someone who's been trying to have a child and it's been difficult. So I'm feeling like there is great um, doors opening in October for you, Pisces, for uh, creating a family. I also feel like perhaps babies to uh, many Pisces will be born in October. Um, I'm also getting... Um, even though doors are opening for you, there is still a little bit of anxiety or worry over uh, finances uh, in October. But I, all in all, I feel that uh, you have some fantastic opportunities coming for you that will help ease uh, some of this anxiety and worry over money. Well, let me see. What other messages can we uh, deliver here, Spirit? Um Yeah, you're sort of kind of feeling a little distance uh, from everybody in October. and But I just, I, I feel that it's okay to feel this way. You won't feel this way the whole entire month. You can check in with my bi-weekly readings and, and see how the energy is moving uh, for this. Um, but I do, I do feel like it's an excellent month for, like... You know, maybe engagements, weddings, um, vacation, uh, where you can just chill out and, and enjoy yourself in a different space and environment, uh, just to let go of some of the worries that you may have. Um, I also feel that the opportunities that come to you are healthy opportunities, and um, I can feel some hesitation there uh, for you in October, but it's just... What I'm, I guess what Spirit's saying here is it's just, you know, something you've experienced before. And, and uh, yes, you are messages. The, the original um, beginning of this reading was about messages. So you need to also listen carefully to your intuition. Neptunian children are really good at that. And, um, you know, maybe some of the opportunities come in still have some... Um, past influence in regards to energy and so be aware of toxic energy so there might be some of these opportunities that you may actually refuse because of that and um, to be conscious of that is is great so um, let me go ahead and pull some love cards for you getting a message here for, for a couple that had separated earlier this year. Um, it was, it, it, you know, it was an argument, a disagreement, but at the same time, both of you actually healed uh, in your space. And I feel that this relationship joins back together in October. Uh, I do feel like there are some serious messages uh, that you will be receiving um 
in October. And I do feel like the two of you are going to try to make a go of this again. And I, I honestly feel that if you focus on your healing space, what you've healed from, uh, this will, you know, the, the second go of this relationship will be actually quite successful. I just feel in this relationship, there was too much going on. Um, I, it, it was either you or this um, ex-partner of yours that was experiencing loss and just could not get in the moment to where um, they could enjoy uh, this relationship. Uh, maybe there was a lot going on with you. Uh, maybe there were some habits or addictions uh, either they were letting go of or you were letting go of. And I mean, it's all okay. It's all okay. Things, experiences happen because there are lessons in it. Just because it comes back to you does not mean it's going to happen the same way. And it's all about letting go of those old uh, behaviors and habits and ways of thinking. And, and just make a settlement, an agreement with yourself that, okay, I've already experienced it this way. I don't need to experience it that way again. Okay, if the person hasn't changed, you can't fix them. Okay, then move on. Okay, let's go here. I mean, definitely some of you Pisces have been through a lot. I want to say the last year or two, uh, unfortunately, some relationships that were dear to heart to you uh, ended or separated. But I feel that there are some fun times coming for you. So let's just focus here in October and leave the past where it needs to be right now. I feel that uh, for a lot of you Pisceans that this is a month for you to um, just be joyful uh, definitely pay attention to things that um, have created uh, toxic events in your life from the past. But I do feel that it all in all in October, uh, besides that one or could affect many people, not just one relationship. A lot of us separated from people and some of us have gotten back together or getting back together with them. And some of us are just leaving everything that's happened in the past behind. Uh, but experiences, the energy of experiences do come back from the past because there were lessons in it. And, um, you know, it could be something that we still need to forgive or something that we still need to heal. And sometimes people are just meant to be together. Sometimes a soulmate will be in another life. And, you know, it wasn't that time. And then, you know, sometimes a couple years later, you run into that soulmate again. And it is that divine timing. Okay? I mean, just because there's been heartache or pain in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen now. And that's something I feel in your little uh, sacred hermit space that you need to kind of focus on. So I do get the feeling from Spirit that there are some things that um, you need to... Uh, be aware of in regards to again that toxic energy I was talking about uh, that's just kind of a test to see where you are as far as clearing out let me just move this camera here a little bit see if I can see more of that moving out of that um, toxicity energy that you were in on and off for the past two three years I feel though uh, you're very more awakened and attentive to that uh, you just don't want it anymore in your life. Uh, I do feel like there are opportunities to meet someone um, who's quite playful and resonates uh, really deep in the heart. You definitely deserve love. You definitely deserve someone like this. Uh, but I feel like, again, in your little hermit space that you may be taking here and there in October. And if you don't, please do because you need it. There's some healing that needs to be done for Pisces. And I also feel that uh, you need to focus more on yourself, that you're a good person, that you have uh, beautiful energy to co-create in this world with, and you're just awesome, Pisces. Um, you have a lot of love in your heart. You are Neptune's children, and uh, you are, uh, some of your ideas are fantastic and very 
um, I don't know, how do I want to put it, futuristic. Okay, but uh, so in back into relationships, I do feel that uh, you just, I'm getting some someone who uh, is actually in love with someone, uh, the, the two of you are together. I feel like this is a great month for you. You have ideas to actually do business together. I feel that the two of you will have um, put this together in October. Uh, what I'm getting from Spirit is you're going to put this together October. The two of you are going to become business partners. Uh, one thing that Spirit is saying is, you know, try to uh, leave your personal matters uh, at home just to catch up later with. Uh, so that you're focusing on business together and you're not just, uh, because I'm feeling like, I don't know why I'm feeling some jealousy could come in here. And I just feel like you just kind of need to just get a grip of that uh, quickly. Um, just remember to keep your, um, you know, your personal love for each other at home. It doesn't mean you can't hug and kiss or wherever out in the public. I'm just saying that um, sometimes when two people who are married or together and they love each other and they do business together uh, sometimes when there's communication with others uh, we get kind of wrapped up into that and when maybe we get a little bit jealous so jealousy came in and I just thought I'd express that with you okay uh, well all in all it's a great month for you October hey you know like I, I mean uh, sorry not a <laughs> great month for you it's a great month for you October too but it's a great month for you too Pisces uh, there are some moments of like I said space for you uh, and some cleansing out to do, but all in all, it's great month. Be playful at heart. Um, you know, speak your heart. Uh, be careful about your mind because sometimes the ego gets involved and we can get a little harsh. So message, going back to the original part of the reading, messages are important. Power of word. Focus on that. Okay? Anyways, um, for all of you who may celebrate Halloween, happy Halloween to all of you. Please check your moon and rising. Uh, when you get a chance. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading with me, it's www.transformationandempowerment.com. It's also listed below this video. Uh, have a fabulous October. Much love and blessings to you, Pisces.